Welcome everyone to my 128th daily press conference since taking office as Prime Minister. I'd just like to thank the uh, Ngunnawal people for allowing us to use their ancestral lands for hosting this press conference. However, it should be noted that 15% of Ngunnawal people are not vaccinated. So if you wish to, uh, if you wish for us to continue holding these press conferences in your sacred lands, we implore all of you to go out and get vaccinated as soon as possible. Anyway, let's begin. Uh, as we all know, 96% of Australians are now fully vaccinated and I'd just like to thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart for doing the right thing by getting the 17th booster shot. A big thank you to every single one of you for keeping the community safe. We're well on our way to reaching our 97% vaccination target by Christmas, which will allow us to have even more freedoms and allow us to return to some sense of normalcy in the upcoming months and years. Just a quick rules reminder, it is illegal for vaccinated Australians to knowingly associate with the unvaccinated. I'm afraid this is the only way to keep all Australians safe. It is illegal for employers to employ unvaccinated people. The risk to the community is much too great. Unvaccinated people are not allowed to enter a public hospital or clinic for any reason. If they need emergency treatment, well, tough luck, they should have got vaccinated. To make it easy for all Australians to remember, every Australian must get their booster shots on the 31st of every month, that has 31 days. So the 31st of January, March, May, July, August, October and December for a total of seven booster shots per year. I must stress that failure to even receive one of these booster shots will put the entire community at risk and automatically put you into the unvaccinated category. Remember, all children over the age of two months are eligible for the vaccine. Today, we at the Australian Government have an important announcement. We will be introducing our brand new campaign, Act As If. Although the majority of Australians are vaccinated, unfortunately there are still unvaccinated people roaming around on our streets and in our communities. With the Act As If campaign, we are asking that all vaccinated Australians act as if everybody they encounter is unvaccinated. We're asking that every vaccinated Australian wears a face mask whenever they are outside their principal place of residence. We are asking that every vaccinated Australian continues to stand at least five metres away from people they don't personally know. This is the only way that we can safely manage those Australians who, for whatever reason, choose to not get vaccinated. Act as if every person you don't personally know is unvaccinated. Remember, the next vaccination day is October 31st. We encourage all Australians to dress up in their favourite Halloween costume and get their spooky 2026 Halloween mystery jab. Just a reminder that as of last year, it is illegal to go trick-or-treating as it is possible that an unvaccinated person could be handing out candy illegally. The risk is just too great to the community. But please encourage your children to dress up in their favourite costumes and head down to the local vaccination clinic, socially distanced of course, on All Saints Eve with every clinic staying open till midnight and all children under the age of seven will receive a free gluten-free pretzel. Here are the latest statistics from the Australian Bureau of Statistics regarding the benefits of vaccination. The national imprisonment rate for unvaccinated Australian adults is 15 times higher than that for vaccinated adults. In the December quarter of 2025, unvaccinated people comprised 28% of Australia's full-time adult prison population. Just over 9 in 10, 91.3% of unvaccinated people aged between 15 and 64 years were not employed in 2025-2026, compared with 24.4% of vaccinated Australians. One in five, 20%, unvaccinated women experienced physical violence in the previous 12 months, compared to 7% of vaccinated women. In 2025, the average life expectancy of unvaccinated people was approximately 10 years, 10.6 years for men and 9.5 years for women, less than that of vaccinated Australians. Leading causes of death included accident or injury, crime, police-involved shootings, and lack of emergency care. 
Remember, being unvaccinated is a choice, a foolish choice, but a choice nonetheless. To make it even easier for all unvaccinated Australians to become vaccinated, the Australian government is introducing its brand new scheme, FastVax. FastVax allows any unvaccinated person to become fully vaccinated simply by taking 17 targeted booster shots over a 12-month period. This is the easiest way for unvaccinated Australians to fit back into Australian society and get back some of their freedoms. Any questions? Yes, uh, Susie from the Public Gazette. Now that so many Australians are vaccinated, many scientists are now saying that the threat from the virus is practically eliminated. Why is the Australian government still pursuing higher vaccination rates? Sorry Susie, what virus, what exact virus are you talking about? I never mentioned anything about a virus. The only risk to the Australian community is the unvaccinated. So as long as there is even a single unvaccinated person walking the streets in Australia, this should concern all Australians. And the Australian government will continue to pursue these measures. Next question, thanks. Bill from Channel 4. Over the last year and a half, Chinese nuclear missile silos have slowly but steadily been erected in Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands, Vanuatu, New Caledonia, New Zealand and Tasmania. As Prime Minister, do you think this poses a clear and present danger to Australia? I'm not sure what you're insinuating with your line of questioning, uh, but the great Chinese nation is of no threat to Australia. Let me repeat, the great Chinese nation is of no threat to Australia. The missile towers are purely there to help protect Chinese and Australian interests. The only threat to Australia, and I'd like to emphasise this, the only threat to Australia are those Australians who are foolish enough not to get vaccinated. Next question. Prime Minister, you mentioned in your statistics that unvaccinated Australians have disproportionately high rates of unemployment, incarceration rates and negative health outcomes, but aren't those a direct result of the government's rules that prevent unvaccinated people from getting jobs and going to hospitals? No, no Bill. Uh, the only people responsible for these abysmal statistics are the unvaccinated themselves. They chose not to get they chose not to get vaccinated. I should say, if they want a job, they can go out and get vaccinated just like the rest of us. Okay, thank you, everybody. Uh, I have another event to attend. I'll see you tomorrow. Good evening everyone, Channel 3 Evening News. In today's top story, an unvaccinated person was spotted walking their dog in a national park. Authorities say that there is no threat to the community, but as a precaution, the dog has been euthanised and the national park has been closed down for the next three months for a deep clean. Underground unvaccinated clubs, pubs and hairdressers have been popping up in the Melbourne region. It is advised that vaccinated Australians keep well clear of such clubs and report them by calling Crime Stoppers. Remember, it is an offence for any vaccinated Australian to knowingly associate with an unvaccinated person with penalties of up to 12 years imprisonment. In financial news, Pfizer stocks have skyrocketed for the fifth consecutive year. Remember, Pfizer are sponsoring this year's Halloween events, so don't forget to get your spooky 2026 Halloween mystery jab at your nearest vaccination clinic. And in lighter news, an unvaccinated man in Liberty Park has been attacked by a goose. This is the second such attack in as many weeks, with scientists now believing that unvaccinated people are now more than five times as likely to be attacked by geese. This gives us even more reason to go out and get vaccinated as soon as possible. <laughs>